Every six to eight months, we get another piece of something from the canceled Justice League Mortal film that, of course, was going to be directed by George Miller, who most recently directed Furiosa and, of course, delivered the highly critical acclaimed Mad Max Fury Road. Well, today we are talking about our best look yet at the Martian Manhunter, who looks like he was drawn or either ate Rob Liefeld for dinner. Okay, so chances are you guys know the story, but I know there's always people that don't, so let's do a quick refresh. Justice League Mortal was a film being developed by George Miller in the late 2000s. They heard that Marvel Studios was going to do the Avengers, and WB and DC figured we can't lose out to this, so whip together a Justice League film and get to it. They built the sets, everybody was in costume, they were literally one day away from shooting. They woke up on the first day of shoot to find out that the film's production was shut down, all the money they sunk into it was officially, uh, well, for nothing, and, well, everybody got to go home. And ever since then, it's been a lot of, well, when can we see more of this, and why can't they just reveal a bunch of stuff from this cancelled film, considering that there's tons of images, the suits were made, and they're in WB storage and all that. And every couple months, we get something new that reveals more. Well, today, we are talking about The Martian Manhunter. Now, of course, Martian Manhunter was supposed to be one of the stars in the film, and according to reports and some leaked scripts that have yet to be fully confirmed whether or not they were the final script or not, was supposed to be a main character, naturally, as it's a Justice League film. And we know that they were going for a different design. And, well, here is the design of the Martian Manhunter. You can clearly tell that they were taking some uh, different approaches to this and that he definitely looks alien, for better or for worse. Um, I don't quite think this is great, especially in regards to how poofy and thick he is. He almost looks like a Rob Liefeld drawing. And obviously you can tell that it was supposed to be an actor with tons of makeup slapped onto him. Well, okay, makeup and prosthetics, obviously. And if you look at him compared to the rest of the league, it looks... It looks like a cheap fan film. And I, I don't know. I don't think this would have been a huge success. I know in recent memory there's been a lot of, um, but this would have been great. It's the late 2000s and we miss those types of films. And maybe you do, you know, maybe you do, but it just doesn't look great. It has a cheap effect to it. I could see why they pulled the plug. They were already millions, uh, dozens of millions, according to reports, into this film. And I think they realized that this was not going to work. And with the success of The Dark Knight, that's why they pulled this film. And honestly, I like being able to, like, peel away the reality and see what could have been in a alternate reality, a Justice League film, but the more we learn about it, the more I think it was the right call to cancel it. 